Hey guys, I'm on a bit of a roll tonight, just making some videos. I've been doing it for a while, realised how much fun it was. I think you uh, people on the right have been a bit too comfortable, and now it's your turn to get a bit of shit from Philly Boy London. Uh, as I mentioned in my first video, um, why I think I, I still always vote for the left is because the number one problem facing humanity is the disparity of wealth. And I want to elaborate a bit on that because right now we are in a recession and as far as I'm concerned the root of this recession is absolutely policies on the right. Uh, free market capitalism without deregulate regularization uh, you know a lot of people think it's all down to socialism and all that kind of shit and yeah it's true if you are heavily socialist like Greece you're gonna be in a lot more shit because you've got a lot more debt but the fact is the reason why we are in a crisis right now is because people were allowed to cheat the system fuck around the system and basically huddle up all the money to themselves you know that they, they always say that 98% uh, well 2% of uh, the wealth 2% of the people earn 95% of the wealth and as far as I'm concerned how is that okay like um People on the right will, will always believe that we have a meritocracy and you can judge a man on the amount of money that he has because if he's got a lot of money that means he must be very intelligent or extremely hard working and I kind of really dispute this because I know you think I'm just a dirty little socialist but the fact is if you've got like a, a hundred million pounds in your bank account did you really work um, 10, wait, a billion times more than somebody who has a hundred thousand pounds in his bank account? Did you really work that much more? My mouth might be wrong, I don't know, but did you really work that much harder than him? No, you didn't. Chances are you either A, inherited a shitload of money and property from somebody a hundred years ago who was smart enough, admittedly, to, you know, dig for oil or buy out land or whatnot. Or you're either, you work in the banking system and you basically fuck over people. There are very few examples of somebody who is genuinely wealthy, who has really given the world something. One example is Bill Gates. He's, he's filthy rich. And you know, I haven't got a problem with it because guess what? I am talking to you via one of his products. Uh, there is a, a, a computer in basically every single house in the freaking world. There are four of them in mine. Actually, the three. My sister's got a stupid Apple and yes yeah, Steve Jobs you know Apple they're rich they've given us something that everyone enjoys people have got iPhones everywhere what the fuck is the head of a fortune 500 company like Lehman Brothers really given society absolutely nothing and the fact of the matter is the right wing parties will always support those elites and the left wing parties will try and spread the wealth and I know you don't that you don't like that term it's people see that as communism but I'm sorry, I just don't see how it's fair. And if you're a Christian, which I'm not, which a lot of right-wingers are Christians, Jesus would have wanted a fairer society. And I, I believe we should aim for that. I, I just don't see why somebody should have 100,000 times more money than um, you know 90% of the rest of the population. And for the record, I've got no problem with making money. Like, believe me, I'm from a pretty wealthy background myself. My mum is like a hardcore socialist. She uh, earns a six-figure sum and she likes giving that money when taxes because she genuinely believes that it's going to a good cause. And Well, that is debatable. Part, all parties make mistakes in government and waste a shitload of money. But um, I've, I've, I'm from a decent background. I have no problem with people making money. Like, I don't understand this, like, myth that everyone on the left, like, hates wealth. I'm sure a lot of them do, but, like, I want to make a bit of money. But... I don't want to attack you if you're like a millionaire. I want to attack you if you have like 50 million fucking pounds. If you want to earn like 20 million and buy like a boat and have a home cinema, then good for you. But I just don't see why you should have 100 million to buy 10 houses and, and a super boat like Roman Bramovich does. You know, I just don't see why you should have that money and as far as I'm concerned you those people should be paying more tax I know that's always unpopular but uh, society doesn't run without the government we need the government to build roads to, to provide um, the military the police the fire department you know the, the government has to exist whether you like it or not that's a fact people who believe in anarchism are idealists and I respect them for that but they <laughs> the reality is is in an anarchist society you'd have absolute fucking mayhem and there'd be a hell of a lot more violence and stuff like that so we, we do need a government and I'm sorry I just find it screwed up how in this recession right now 
the people who are being hit hardest by the cuts are the ones that are not responsible for this this recession. What what did like a teacher do to to bring in this freaking crash? Nothing. What did like a bus driver do? You know what did like a stay at home mum do? Nothing. They didn't. They're not responsible for this crisis, but yet they're the ones who are being being bitten the hardest. And also like I'm I'm not a royalist. I do quite like the Queen. But right now in the UK, we've got like the budget for the the monarchy is going up. And I'm like, what the fuck? And apparently it's because there need to be repairs done for, for the palace and all that kind of shit. And, uh, you know, yeah, they again, I, I don't mind the royal family because they do give us like a niche product. They're good ambassadors for us, tourists like them. So I'm cool with the monarchy. But why is it that the, the elite, the few, it's okay for them to get uh, more taxes and a raise. Why can't the uh, the monarchy sell off some of their fucking property, which they have absolutely shit stuff? Why, can't, why is it they can't take a hit in this recession? Uh, yeah, I do. Well, why is that? And I just find that completely bullshit. And that is why I vote left in parties. And again, you know, back to the old video. That's why I moan so much about all the bullshit left wing liberal like PC bullshit. We all of the type. The reason I hate that is because they're destroying um, the attraction of left wing parties. And it, as they say, it's the economy stupid. And what really matters is economics. As far as I'm concerned, the left have it right. They're not perfect. There is such thing as government waste and stupid programs and they fucking snooping on me and shit i hate that crap too believe me but i'm sorry they still provide valuable services to society so yeah you know just uh, another little rant and maybe i could elaborate more on why po economic policies are the right are full of shit but i just don't see why the elites that created this massive fucking bubble bursting um, seem to get away fine no one gets put in prison yet the working class man you know gets treated like shit and I just find that bullshit and um, you know if you really care about the working class you should vote for people on the left and uh, that's just the fact of it because it is the economy stupid and um, yeah fuck you man <laughs>